everyone. Welcome to this video on Semperis Forest Druid. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the free Forest Druid tool and how to use it to define the true tier zero perimeter. In the Forest Druid screen on the defense perimeter page, um, I didn't introduce you yet to basically being able to view and zoom into this screen to actually search for different objects, look at them visually, and understand even objects that are further away from that defined tier zero than the first hop. By default, we only show you that the objects that are basically one hop away of any of your tier zero objects. Down here, you see a number of all of those objects that currently have a relationship to your tier zero, to your most critical objects. But I can add further objects and basically uh, say how many hops away. You see the number increase. I'm now on three hops, four hops, five hops. Now the number has dramatically increased with many more elements that are basically added to the graph to show you there are more and more risks the further out I get. I recommend that you stay in that uh, view on uh, just one hop away because that allows you to basically drill into the most direct relationships to your tier zero object and understand if that is actually the way that you want to keep them. And you're, while it's cool to see all these objects here and zoom in, I can even like uh, search for uh, schema and uh, understand what are the relationships to my schema admins group, for example. Um, it's actually even more powerful to use this little combine tier zero node object button. So if I click on this, I have a very clear view. Any object that has a um, direct relationship, we're now just one hop away from my tier zero objects, is a dangerous object. And I have to now classify my object in, th in this list to either be okay for being part of a tier zero object because that is how I extend my own perimeter. A very obvious one that you'll see here with uh, many, many uh, relationships towards uh, those uh, tier zero objects are or is this MSOL account that is used for my Azure AD sync. Many of you will have a similar account, but if you have multiple of those, you will want to watch it. So what happens now, let me actually just uh, undo this view for a moment so that you see the change. What happens now when I take this and classify it as tier zero, I have now basically turned it to a green object, my self-defined tier zero. That's what you see here. And that's what you see here. If I now combine this everything again into one bubble, it's basically hidden as part of that big tier zero bubble. And that's fine because I don't really care anymore about this object, but I do care about other objects that have access to it. And an easy way to, to um, basically understand your, let's say, improvement uh, of um, the remaining risks is to only show privilege escalation. So we're going to add that other filter. And you see my filter has already um, been downsized to just 36 objects. So I'm going to do the same thing with the users group, actually container. This is the container that by default contains all of those uh, critical elements. And of course, I have to trust it. Whoever has access to that user's container um, potentially has access to those objects. So I want to add that to my tier zero, to my own tier zero, and basically then understand if there are additional relationships um, coming along. Same thing with built-in. Lots of um, objects in the built-in container. And I'm also going to containerize, actually classify it as tier zero and very easily see that my count of relevant objects that I need to look at and classify has been dramatically reduced already. So that is basically an easy way to evaluate the, um, uh, the relationships between the objects uh, that have access to your tier zero. And in the next video, we're going to dive deeper into scanning high risk 
uh, violations in this environment, understanding what to do about that. So I hope this video has helped you to understand the ease of use of Forest Druid and how to define the two tier zero perimeter. Check out further videos on this website for more tips.